Good morning, folks. We're looking at umbral magnetic fields departing on the Earth facing half of the Sun. We'll focus more on what's incoming in just a moment. It is a calm star this morning. No sunspots, no solar flares. We'll round up today's news with two articles from Deep Space and a look at terrestrial weather. But first, let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star, and it was calm indeed, but there are two space weather events on the horizon. Let's start by looking at the solar wind. Very calm telemetry at the moment, but intensification is expected due to the intense solar wind streams from these dark coronal holes. We're looking for a density shockwave followed by fast plasma streams either tonight or tomorrow. And while we await that solar wind, we eye the large V-shaped plasma confinement above the massive sunspot turning across the far side. At the end of the sequence, you can see smaller arches looping up and back down just to the south of the V, and those? Those are the umbral magnetic fields of that mega sunspot. We're just a few days from its return. Coming to the articles where it's always fun to see scientists refuting the claims of other scientists, Apparently, NGC 3293 was believed to have very few solar mass stars and even fewer smaller ones. Turns out they were shrouded in the optical light but revealed with different wavelengths from Spitzer. And it turns out there is a host of stars less than 2.5 solar masses, which bumps up the life potential of the cluster in general. For today's comment discussion, it's been a recent problem for astrophysicists that quasars can dim very rapidly, upending much of their thought process surrounding their life cycles. They say here that a loss of gas in the accretion disk could halt the quasar action, but I'd love to hear other guesses from the community as to the nearly unthinkable flip-flop of this quasar action. Top weather alert is coming in a few hours to the South Island of New Zealand, Antarctic low reaching high with its convergence line and extending it back to southeastern Australia as it'll hammer the Shire. Folks, yesterday's Fly on the Wall podcast was very interesting. We discussed the major sunspot threat expected, its place in the longer run to solar minimum, and discuss a lot of the geoengineering stories coming out in the mainstream. We greatly appreciate your support. And we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.